listen to this, electric space elevators powered by laser beams instead of rockets. Yeah, it sounds like the stuff of big movie blockbusters, right? But this technology is actually being tested right now. Fox 13's Christina Gonzalez shows us how it could make stuff of Star Trek and Jetsons very real. Whoa! Roger, copy me. See that on video. Clapping as a laser-powered robot zips up a kilometer-long steel cable, which happens to be dangling from a helicopter out in the middle of the Mojave Desert. That's the future of space travel. Or, say, space solar power. Or for colonizing the moon and the Mars. You really can't do that with rockets. You need something like a railway, a carbon railway, which is what a space elevator should be. It's the NASA-backed Space Elevator Challenge. We are at Dryden Flight Research Center in Edwards Air Force Base, where teams are competing to develop space elevator technology. Anybody who needs power in one place and can't run wires to it we'd be able to deliver power to it. And just to give you a sense of how far you have to be to be safe with those lasers, that over there is about a mile away. <laughs> What's going through your heart right now? A lot of relief and exhaustion. Yeah, they came back in one piece. That's the Laser Motive team out of Seattle. Their robot here, traveling at two meters per second, is the first to qualify for 900000 out of the $2 million price offered. But what does it all mean for you and me? Could be an unmanned airplane that flies forever with power from the ground. A community after a natural disaster to bring in power from above. You think someday you're going to be able to beam me up into space? We may very well be able to launch you into space with one of our lasers. At Edwards Air Force Base, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox News.